Hello, my friends. I'm here to show you something new today. Uh, it's not knitting, it's crochet. And I'm going to show you how I do bead crochet using the knitting pin for tension. Okay? I have heard uh, and I know as a fact that Portuguese um, people both knit and crochet using this knitting pin. However, I haven't seen anybody doing that except on the magazine. And for the last few years I've been researching how to do that and I found a way and in the bead crochet I found a very good way to hold the project and to create the tension you need to make this uh, cord. If you're familiar with the bead crochet, uh, you're going to enjoy that very much. If you're not, maybe I can make a class for you in the future. My intent here is not to teach you how to do the bead crochet, but to demonstrate how I crochet using the pin for tension, okay? So I have some examples here of what I'm doing so you can see. Uh, the bead crochet makes this beautiful cord. It's a supple kind of uh, cord that, that I love to make necklaces. And you can tell uh, I like so much. I've made several of them. I have in pink. I have here in green. You can vary the pattern. You can vary the beads. There's so many things. You can vary the size of the beads. Uh, those ones I always uh, I use the same size beads and the same pattern okay you can also do some cords like this using only two colors you can use as many colors as you want I haven't gone crazy yet in this project this one is I made a necklace for myself and this one uses a teeny tiny size of beads and this is a size 15 and I put a focal point bead in here and I crocheted this with the silk, 100% silk. So it's really soft and really uh, good to use, to wear it, okay? So this, this are come, just some projects that I tackle on the bead crochet. To show you what I'm doing, I chose to um, put the beads on the cotton and that's what the bead crochet involves, you are going to put a series of beads in a cotton or silk thread uh, in a certain order. To make the three colors that I like so much here, I put three colors of beads on my thread. I put blue, green, and pink. And I use those colors not because they match or they're pretty, but for uh, demonstration demonstration purpose so you can see exactly where each bead is going to go as I crochet okay so let me know put in the comments if you want a class on bead crochet and I can get you a class from beginning to end but if you're familiar or if you want to just crochet with the pin that's the idea here for you so let me show you how to set up I put the pin on my left shoulder I am going to take the project I hold with my left hand. The yarn comes from left to right around the pin. And then I thread through my middle finger on my right hand because I'm right-handed and I'm gonna hold the crochet with my right hand. Again, all this can be um, totally personal. You are going to see what works for you. But the important part of this is to do this pulley system here. And all the tensioning of the yarn is here and not on your fingers, okay? So here is my project. I stopped here um, and put um, open stitch marker. I am taking it away. I am putting my um, crochet hook. I think I put it on the wrong side, just a sec, here. My crochet hook is on the stitch that was on hold. My yarn goes on top of the crochet hook and now I'm going to start the bead crochet. And for this all you do is insert your crochet hook under the bead, the stitch under the bead. With your right hand you push the bead 
to the side, you bring down another bead. In my case, it's blue. All the blues are going to be on top of blues, and then you crochet with a slip stitch. I'm going to repeat the entire round. Green, push the green to the side, bring down a green bead, and a slip stitch here. Now is the pink. Push the pink to the side, down a pink, and slip stitch. And the next bead is the blue, and so on. So you can get really a smooth system here and get really fast doing this. My bead, um, sorry, my pink bead is on the way here. I'm going to remove and push it to the side. There we go. Again, get the blue. I want to show, push the blue, slip stitch. The next one is the green. Insert under the green, push to the side. Trying to not put my fingers in front of what I'm doing for you. Pink, push the bead to the side, yarn on top, bring the bead, slip stitch, blue, and so on. So by doing this over and over, you are building this beautiful cord. Well, let me start again because my crochet hook got stuck here. There. Push to the side, bring the... So by um, adding beads in a certain order, again, you are going to always have the bead you need in the string that is the next stitch for you to work. Okay, I'll do one more. I will stop and look. Let me put my stitch marker here. The point is to show you how I tension this and how I work. And here it is my beginning of a necklace. Uh, it could be a bracelet, it could be so many things you can do with the cord, it could be um, handle for a purse, it could be so many things. So again, I hope you enjoy the idea that um, you can use the pin for crochet and with that you make it more efficient. You take the tension from your hands and you put in this pulley system, okay? Please leave your comments, um, any questions that you might have, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon.